If you're wondering why all this attention is being paid to Columbia University, it's simple. Columbia is probably going to be the stone that begins the avalanche that dismantles Israeli apartheid. Let me explain in the plainest terms. All of these activists movements begin on college campuses. During the Vietnam backlash, that movement began with teach-ins on college campuses and expanded from there. Columbia is the most significant campus symbolically right now. First, it's in Ivy. Second, it's in the Zionist capital of everywhere in the world outside of Tel Aviv, the Upper West Side, Manhattan. And the administration is obscenely rabid and hypocritical in its crackdown. Not surprising to me, I went to Columbia School of General Studies after I got out of the army and had to go through with that program with some Dumbass ex-IDF soldiers. They'd let anyone in that was IDF. Administration, obviously Zionist to the core, is terrified because Colombia has an established tradition of divestment. Vietnam industries, fossil fuels, South African apartheid, and entrenched divestment takes years, but it eventually happens, and it's happening rapidly at an unprecedented rate. So the administration is just reacting, not responding, calling cops on a bunch of rich kids, many of them Jewish, and arresting them for protesting in a designated area. They make a phone call to a prominent alumni at CNN and start pumping that pro-Israel rhetoric. Painting these 19-year-old kids as terrorist sympathizers, calling the White House while ignoring the fact that literally every university in Gaza has been systematically destroyed. I don't want to get into Columbia's diversified investment portfolio or the fact that it owns way too much real estate in New York City. The important thing is that if Columbia University can divest and its suppressive ethno-supremacist administration can be lashed back into line, well, then it can happen to the majority of college campuses in the U.S. Then it will spread to Europe. And that's the game because that's the future. It establishes a precedent for institutional divestment and that's the first step in mass normalization. So these students need to be supported at all costs. Hypocrisy and oppression breed resistance. So thanks, White House, for your statement on this matter. Don't downplay the practical and symbolic significance of this movement.